Hello and welcome to our last maths lesson for this week. This is the last day that we are going to be learning how to recognise numbers to 20 and put them in the right order. And we thought we would end the week with a really exciting ordering activity. So you should have sung your song already. Now it's time for our fun ordering activity. And today we thought we would get you to do a treasure hunt at home. So your grown up needs to hide numbers 1 to 20 around the room. Make sure you're not peeking so you don't know where they are. When all of the numbers are hidden, you are going to go and find them. But you're going to find them one at a time. So Miss Hollenby has hidden some numbers for me. And I think I might know where one is. So I might just go and have a look over in the bookshelf here. Oh, oh I found one. I found number three. Now, what you're also going to need for this activity is a blank number track. Can you see a number track? It's just a series of boxes. I've only done four boxes, but you're going to need to make a number track that goes all the way up to 20, okay? I haven't done that. I've only done four, but you're going to do 20. Now, when you find your first number, you're going to have a little look at it. Hmm, I found number three. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to try and work out where it goes on your number track. And I'm going to show you how to do it. There's a little trick. So what I'm going to do to work out where it goes is I'm going to start counting up my number track to see where number three goes. When I say the number three, I know it's meant to be in that box. Watch me do it. One, two, three. My finger landed here, so I know that number three goes in this box on the number track. Then, when you've done that, you can go and find your next number. I'm going to go find my next number. I think I saw another one over here, Miss Hollenby. Oh, behind the clock, I found it. Oh, which number did I find this time? That's right, I found number one. So bring it back over to your number track. And now you need to work out where it goes on your number line. So remember, you're going to count and point to the boxes to see where it goes. Let's see where number one goes. One. Oh, it goes in the first box. This is where it belongs. And when you've done that, you go and find your next number and you keep going until your number track is full with all of the numbers from one to 20. This is a little bit trickier than the other activities we've done this week because we're having to work out which empty space it goes in. Good luck. We know that you're up to the challenge and we can't wait to see your photos. Bye.